Grassroots Rugby League will receive a $2 million boost with the NRL teaming up with the New South Wales government to announce the biggest grants program in the game's history. New South Wales Premier Barry O'Farrell joined NRL Head of Football Todd Greenberg in unveiling the new New South Wales Footy Facilities Fund that will see a $1 million investment on both parts to support upgrades or construction of junior and senior rugby league facilities. There's no doubt that rugby league needs to invest in its grassroots. Uh, we understand that the very core element of rugby league is what you see behind me today. It's young boys and girls playing football on a Saturday morning like they are here today in Campbelltown. And the game needs to recognise that and put money into that investment. And we've done that in partnership with New South Wales government. We'll be around the state looking to improve facilities uh, to improve ultimately our game. And that's the charter of the game and we'll continue to focus that way. This is about ensuring that we increase grassroots participation in the greatest game in the country. It's about doing so by the NRL and the state government putting $2 million aside to be matched with local funds to improve the facilities, whether that's stands, whether it's lights, whether it's clubhouse or change rooms, to improve local sporting grounds. West Tigers utility forward Sour So Sue grew up playing rugby league in Western Sydney for Macquarie Fields Hawks. He's pleased to see such a massive commitment made to support the roots of the game he loves. I rode uh, Macquarie Field Hawks and yeah, played, started there and just um, went through the ranks with the Tigers. It's really good to see the government um, supporting Junior Rugby League and yeah, it's really good, good for the juniors. Minister for Sport and Recreation Gabrielle Upton believes it's extremely important to secure a strong future for the game. I've seen my kids learn about teamwork and learn a lot more about their local community by participating in their local sports. So I think all round it unites community and I think it's one of those rare things these days that can unite a community. There are so many things that can divide us. Sport is a uniter of the whole community. Junior league clubs, doesn't matter where they are within Australia, um, are crying out for help in assistance with funding to upgrade their grounds. It's important that the grounds are upgraded to keep kids in the game and to ensure the safety of the children in the game. Years ago you used to raise your money through chook raffles and sausage sandwiches. Now the cost of the game and running at the grassroots level is getting higher. So this will help them with this initiative to put, drive their money into something for the future of the club. To boost rugby league in our area is a huge thing. Um, you know, obviously we're competing with different codes at the moment. And for us, it's not just about the rugby league, it's about the community in general, getting them involved, whether it's with the canteen, if it's out on the grounds, supporting our kids. Clubs can make applications for funding, but to secure a grant of up to $75,000, they have to match that amount themselves or obtain support from local councils, meaning the initiative will see a total investment pool of $4 million spent on rugby league facilities across the state. Campbelltown's the opal of the southwest, the very best part of the MacArthur, and must my hope we'll have the best rugby league facilities anywhere in the state. Details of the New South Wales Footy Facilities Fund and how to apply can be found at www.dsr.nsw.gov.au/grants. Amy Lindsell, NRL.com.